In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make an iPhone ringtone out of any old MP3. Uh, this is not just work for iPhone, this will pretty much work for any iOS device uh, for any sort of audio notification. Uh, I'm going to use Logic which is Apple's Pro Apps audio sequencer although this technique will pretty much work with any audio tool including Audacity which is freely available on the internet. Okay, uh, the first thing I need is an MP3 and I have chosen Super Mario Brothers, the theme tune. Uh, this is a chiptunes version because, uh, well, why not? So the first thing we need to do is to add it to my audio sequencer. There it is now converting. Okay, and we can hear it. So there we go. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to chop this up because his ringtones are generally quite short and we also want them to loop. Um, I want to lose the start of it because I'm not really interested in that. And I will move this back. Okay, I might make this a little bit bigger. And it's here. Okay, I actually wanted to start from here. This back. So listen. Okay. Great music, isn't it? Okay, that's as far as I want my track to go, so I'm just going to split the playhead there and I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, it's quite long for a ringtone, but it is Mario after all, so it's well worth it. Okay. Da -da -da. Let's hear how long it goes. Okay, ringtones generally loop until somebody answers the phone. Uh, it depends on the phone and how long you've set it for. So let's just have a listen to this and hear what it sounds like. We've just put it into cycle mode here now. So we should have a listen. Okay, that's close enough, close enough for me. Uh, the ringtone in total, I've just cut out just a little over 19 seconds, about 20 seconds worth of, almost 20 seconds worth of music, which is plenty. Okay, now iPhone ringtones come are essentially in an AAC format, and I can make I can make one of these directly from Logic. And um, what I want to do is I want to bounce this. Okay, and it's M4A AAC, the Advanced Audio Codec. And I'm going to save this onto my desktop, and I'm going to call it. Super Mario Bros. theme. I'm also normalizing the track because I want it to be essentially as loud as it will go. Okay, so over on this desktop here, I have my resulting audio file, Super Mario Brothers theme.m4a. To indicate to iTunes and to the phone that this is a ringtone, I need to change the extension to m4r. And yes, I do want to do this. Now, you could drag this directly onto the phone, just like that, but I have found it to be a little bit inconsistent, sometimes it doesn't go over properly, so if you drag it into the ringtone section of iTunes first, and then drag it over, it seems to work a lot better. So if I go over to this ringtones now on my phone, it's doing an old sync, and there it is, Super Mario Brothers theme. Wonderful. Now if I go actually go into my phone, into the settings and select sounds, and from there you can set what your ringtone is. And uh, there you go, Super Mario Brothers theme tune, chip tunes version on your phone. Remember, you go to audio sequencer, chop out the bit that you want, then uh, put it in AAC format, change the extension to M4R, drag it into the iTunes ringtones library, and then drag it over to your phone, and off you go. Enjoy.